Well, this weekend's festivities hosted by the Clotilda Descendants Association are centered around one event, a landing ceremony. Fox 10's Anaya Spraggs has more on this annual endeavor, remembering the anniversary of the day enslaved African Americans arrived right here in Mobile. Saturday morning, the Clotilda Descendants Association hosted their annual Under the Africa Town Bridge landing ceremony. It leads up to the anniversary of 110 enslaved African Americans arriving aboard the Clotilda in Mobile on July 8, 1860. The Clotilda is the last known slave ship to arrive in the United States. This is important because when we tell our ancestor stories, we continue the legacy. We continue um, a connection to our past because our past informs our future and so we are very connected to where we come from and we want that to keep going for generations to come. The ceremony began with a prayer followed by special remarks from some descendants. One speaker was visibly emotional while discussing their ancestor gaining comfort from others. We talked to a few descendants following the special gathering. It's by our ancestors that we're so glad to be here. We thank them and we want to mold the future for our children so that they can follow in the steps that we followed. We are honoring that voyage, honoring that um, landing here, and we poured libations for them. We said their names aloud and we laid a wreath in the water so that um, we could honor this location because this is sacred ground. Tiffany Pogue, one of the event organizers, expressed gratitude for the turnout of the event. It feels like a privilege to see all of the descendants come from all different places, not just Mobile, other states, other cities, um, and then also other people from the community. It feels so, so like a pure privilege to have the opportunity to honor our ancestors together um, and just celebrate. Jeremy Ellis shared his thoughts, highlighting the importance of taking time to remember the 110 individuals forcibly brought to Mobile. It's an occasion where um, for me, um, I'm able to just stop and reflect on the resiliency and the courage of my ancestors. Anaya Spraggs, Fox 10 News. And those festivities continue tomorrow. The community will gather for a worship service at Union Baptist Church built by ancestors in Africatown at 1045 a.m.